Hey guys, it's me Dave. It's uh, 2.25, I think. Uh, 2.22, Friday night. So I'm not having a drink tonight because I'm broke and I don't have any alcohol, which sucks because I'm getting hit. I've been getting hit since last night. Getting hit all day today. Um, I got hit until about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning last night. And then I must have fell asleep uh, for a couple hours and I got up and fed the dogs and stuff like that. And... Um, and then they, they did let me get back to sleep until about 12.30. And then um, they've been hating me ever since. I got a headache. Um, you know, I feel like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's a headache, though, all day today. I've been taking Tylenol. It doesn't do anything. Um, they were doing, uh, they, were, they were kind of making my heart f flutter. But it wasn't my heart. It was like. It was more middle of my chest, like pulses of energy. I think it. I think it was. So they weren't actually hitting my heart, but it felt like that. But it was. It didn't feel like it was in my heart. It felt like it was in the middle of my chest. So they were doing that quite a bit, uh, just a little bit ago, um, all day today, hitting me all day. They got their thugs out around and and stuff. So I don't know if they're just gonna hit me and, you know, I don't know. They send me to the hospital. Well, maybe, you know. I, you know, I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, I'm not ruling anything out right now. You know, I got my phone ready to call if I have to call for help. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and let these guys, you know, because I'm broke. I'm broke right now. And my, my truck battery's dead, and I have no money, and I have no alcohol <laughs> for the weekend, and I have nothing. So I'm sitting here drinking coffee and water and whatever else, and... Um, so they're taking advantage of that. They want to torture the hell out of me because they know I'm stuck here, you know, but I'm not going to put up with it. it. Um, if they hit me too bad, you know, I'll be calling, you know, I'm just, I'll just go to the hospital. I don't care. You know, it'll cost me a hundred bucks, but I'm not going to sit here and let these guys torture the hell out of me all night and all day. I'm not doing it. You know, they've tortured me before where I didn't call for help. They tortured my teeth for a week. Um, I went to the dentist twice. He's like, I don't know why you're in so much pain, you know, and all this stuff. And um, it was them torturing my teeth for a week. Um, they did it until my psych appointment, and then they finally laid off me. Um, I was in so much pain, so much pain, you guys. Um, these guys really put me through hardcore torture. Um, I should have went to the hospital at that point. Um, you know, they don't want me to go to the hospital. These guys don't want me going to the hospital because then they have to stop, you know. Then they have to stop, you know. Then bigger people get involved in stuff. So they're like, oh, don't go to the hospital. You're going to get arrested. No, You know, it's all lies and BS. It's all lies and BS. Don't believe anything these people say, you know. So, um, so that's what's going on, you know. You know, I don't know. We'll see what happens if I'm still here tonight. Um, you know, I don't, you know, they just hate you so bad. You can't even take it hardly, you know, and they do it for hours and hours and hours. Hit me all day since one o'clock, you know, we're going on what, eight hours, seven, eight hours, you know, already, you know, so I don't know. The cycle, these guys are psycho. You know, I was reading Dr. Duncan's book. I'll talk about that a little bit. And I was reading about cloning, cloning a little more about cloning i learned um reading his book um like i say i just got to the good parts and when he's talking about this program and everything else so um uh he even says in the in the in the book he says these guys are idiots they're idiots that are that are working this technology um or it was a quote from somebody or some somebody's you know, they said they're idiots, um, which I kind of suspected anyway. Um, they think they're so smart and everything else, but they're, they're not. Um, they use, I think, you know, in my program, they got a lot of low-level people. I think they're using those people to clone, possibly. Um, you know, I think they're bad people. I, I think they use child molesters and rapists and drug addicts and all the stuff. I know they use them. I know they use them. And I think they use some of them for cloning you know, um, you know, when they clone you, um, you know, the, the clone member has his brainwaves hooked up to yours and they try to override your brainwaves, you know? So like I said before, I cut my neck. Well, it, it said the guy, the clone 
has to really feel like he's going to commit suicide. He really has to believe he's going to commit suicide. They're not going to let him hurt himself, obviously. So he could take a plastic knife and go like this and make you cut your neck. If it, it, Well, I mean, most of the time I think you can break that connection. I think you can break it. But um, they're psycho, you know. Um, they tried doing this to me before. It's in Dr. Duncan's book. They tried making you punch yourself in the face. They tried making me do that. I, I didn't do it. You know, they couldn't make me do it. But they were, they were putting the urge into me to punch myself in the face. You know, like beat myself up. And they were trying to do that. So what they do is the clone member puts a, a pillow over his head or whatever. And he's sitting there. He's really punching himself in the face with the pillow. You know, but he's hitting the pillow so he's not hurting himself. You know, and stuff like that. That's how they get you to do things. You know, they can make you jerk the steering wheel. You know, they could get you to cause an accident. And they've done this to me going over the bridge to go buy tobacco and stuff. I'll be driving and they will put the urge into me to run off the road. You know. So they're, they're really, they really are feeling that. Like, I want to run off the road, you know. And they're hooked up to your brainwaves, and, and that's what they're doing, you know. And they put the urge in you to do it. But they can jerk the steering wheel, too, you know. It could be deadly. You know, I agree, it could be deadly, you know. It's, it's just, it's unreal. Um, he said you could also train these guys, and you could train the AI um, but it didn't really go into detail on how. Um, so I'll have to figure that out. Um, figure that out, you know. But moving limbs and all that stuff, they tried doing that stuff to me when I was in the hospital. They tried. It was like they tried moving my limbs and all this stuff. I broke it right away. You know, I broke it. Um, so they they... They have tried to do certain things to me, but I, I think I can break it pretty easily, you know, unless you're in a sleep or something like that. Um, but um, they, uh, you know, what, what they want, it, you know, like right now, you know, I, I'm kind of in a weak state or so they think I am, you know, because I'm a little wore out and all that stuff. Um, but, um, you know, if it comes down to it, I'm ready to fight, but not not physically. I'm just saying I'm ready, you know, my mind's ready to fight if, if they try some crap with me. Um, but, uh, um, you know, I just, I don't know. It's just, it's unreal. It, it really is unreal. Um, you guys got to read that book, Dr. Duncan's book. Um, what is it? The Soul Project Soul Catcher. Um, I got to read more of it. I'm going to read more of it tonight, but... It's unreal. You know, these guys are not smart. Um, um, like other people say, you know, the researchers, these, these guys aren't doctors. They're not anything like that. I think those people are involved, but they're not involved all the time. These, these guys are not very smart. They're using scumbags to do it. Um, I've seen these guys, you know, and stuff. And, uh, you know, and stuff. So they're not. They're not, uh, you know, this ain't a doctor sitting here doing this to you, you know. Um, it's these grub bags that are doing it um, and stuff. But um, it's interesting. You guys should read that book, though. I got to read. I got to start reading more of it and stuff. But um, anyway, uh, so I'm being hit. I'm being hit right now. I got a headache. I just took two Tylenol. Um, I'm just kind of going through it. I got a little bit of a stomach ache. Um I just, I'm not feeling that great. I'm super tired and they won't let me sleep and stuff. I just tried laying down for a little bit and uh, they wouldn't let me sleep and stuff. So I'm going through it, you guys. Going through it. Um, you know, so I don't know. Are these guys going to be next someday, possibly. They're, um, you know, the book also said they're kind of... Um, they're kind of in a delusional, they're kind of out of reality, in a delusional state of mind, you know, um, and stuff. Um, you know, the clone member, um, 
and they're only told like the time, the weather, and what day it is and stuff. They're not told anything about us, um, unless someone does tell them a little bit. But they're, but they're not told anything about us, you guys. You know, um, like I say, they didn't even know my age until a few years ago. They didn't know my age and and where I went to school and all this stuff. Um, they're trying to ask me that in the hospital and stuff. Um, so there's a lot they don't know about us, I think, that they're trying to figure out. But they're not told anything about us and stuff. So I don't know. They're idiots. They're idiots and they're crazy and they're murderers. That's all That's all I can say. They're murderers and they need to be stopped. They need to put a stop to this, man. These guys are crazy, you know. Um, they're crazy. Um, it just, I, it, it, you know, I want to talk about another point. Another point is, is T.I. should not have guns, should not have weapons, should not have guns. Um, you know, do not have a gun if you're a T.I., you guys. Get rid of that gun if you're a T.I. We should not have weapons like that because they can make you do things, you guys. And you put you in the hypnosis or a deep sleep or something like that and they can make you do things, you know. You don't want to hurt yourself or someone else. So, you know, we shouldn't have any weapons, you guys. Keep us safe. You know, anyway, um, I suppose I'll cut this off. I'm kind of rambling. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm going through it, you know, getting nailed all day, all night here. So I'll, uh, I hope you guys are doing well out there, and um, I'll talk to you guys later.